Hey everyone, this is Steve from Kotaku. I'm going to show you how to get a plane pretty early in GTA 5. You can see I'm only two hours in, but you probably don't even need to be that far. So in the map here, if we go down on the bottom left, we'll find the airport. So drop a little uh, marker here, and you're going to drive down in our fancy supercar. Okay, so we're down here at the airport. Uh, we're on the lower level where you can enter the terminals, and... What we're going to do is drive over here on the right hand side, it can be the left side too, there's an entrance there. We'll kind of casually break through that, wait for them to politely open the gate for us, and then we're going to just drive out onto the tarmac, and nobody seems to mind until you get about here. Oh no, you just keep going. So maybe there's a timer, but you can get pretty far, and in this case, right to the jet that we're going to, without the uh, alarms going off. But then, since it is an airport, they'll show up pretty quickly. But it's just this one helicopter that's going to show up, so you should be fine. The controls on the plane are the same as on the uh, on the cars. The only difference is that the rudders are on the bumpers for turning, doing your little K-turn here to take off. But then we can just go off this taxiway, and we're pretty much home free at this point because the helicopters can't keep up, and the cop cars certainly can't. So you just drive out onto the o or fly out onto the ocean, and your wanted level will be gone momentarily. And you can see a beautiful view of the nighttime uh, Los Santos here. You've got the skyline coming up. So that's how to get a plane in GTA 5. For more videos about GTA 5 and other upcoming games, check out Kotaku.com. That's that's one of the interesting things. I'll talk while you drive to your next. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're trying to make a video here. Okay, wait. just cut. Jump we're just cutting. <laughs>